Right guys, so today we are going to be doing a video on the Phoenix Jailbreak for iOS 9.3.5. Um, this video will also be showing you guys how to downgrade your iPhone 4S from iOS 9.3.5 or any other 9.3.5 device, 32-bit, down to iOS 6. So, let's get started. First, head over to the website, the link uh, was on screen. Um, phoenixporn.com I'll put it in the description you need to click download in the center wait for the uh, DMG to uh, download and the IPA here you can see the IPA is downloading then download City Impactor from the same website Just scroll down a bit and download that Click on OS X for Mac, Windows or Linux. For this I am using my MacBook Air 2009. Then click the Impactor 0.9.4. Let that open and install. Drag it to the Applications folder. Um, and then we can actually start the process. So you can see there, I've dragged it in, and now we can open the application and start this process. See here, you can see I've connected the iPhone 4S to the MacBook. Um, you need to drag the uh, IPA that you've downloaded onto the Cydia Impactor, and then type in your Apple ID, password, and username. Once it does that, your iPhone should go into DFU mode and then it will reboot itself um, with the Phoenix application on it already. See here, then you need to go to General, scroll all the way down to Device Management, click on your Apple ID email and click Trust. then open the app again and click prepare for jailbreak there click accept dismiss the free mixtape and click begin installation to begin the installation of Cydia onto your device And that is how you jailbreak your iOS 9.3.5 device. Um, to downgrade it, you have to first download the folder in the description. So make sure you do that now, uh, otherwise you'll forget and you'll get lost in the next few steps. Once you've downloaded that, go onto your iPhone in Cydia and search Open SSH. And then select the very top one and install that and wait for it to install once installing open SSL you have to go onto your computer and open win SCP and then type the host name in to the top bar so guys, to get the IP, you have to go into your general and settings, uh, then Wi-Fi, and then you have to click the blue I on the Wi-Fi, and then look at the IP address. That is the uh, IP address, so in this case it's 192.168, etc, etc. Root name, you have to put root, and password is Alpine, A-L-P-I-N-E and it should connect to your device once it's done that click yes and then you should be able to close out of this program after that when SCP should open up these two new tabs 
which then after it's opened that you have to navigate to your 4S downgrade folder which you should have downloaded at the start of the video um, so that will be in the description you have to go in this folder and select pwned ibss and kloader and drag them both into the main root folder once doing that you will have to open up the terminal window in WinSCP as you can see it's at the very top left icon um, on mine it's the black and white box so click OK and that should connect to the device and then open up a terminal which you will have to type two commands you can't copy and paste them, you have to type them both. They will be in the README document and the folder that you download. Once doing that, go start command prompt. Remember to right click it and run as administrator, and it should open up the command prompt box of which you will then be able to type the commands in. Remember to click yes, and here we go. Here we are going to copy and paste the commands that are in the uh, readme file in the downloaded folder. Uh, remember you have to change your username to your uh, computer username so in my case it's WMBOW000 so <coughs> remember to change your command line 1 for wherever you've put the folder so I'd say best put it on desktop I just had to add the iOS folder because I put it inside that folder. So once you do that, you have to copy the whole command and paste it. Right click, paste, because you can't do Control V because it doesn't work. Uh, press Enter and then you have to copy that. The second one, paste that again and press Enter and it should do its thing. So as you can see here it's going through all of these, just let it do that, your iPhone will be put into DFU mode, um, but it will go through all of those commands uh, first, and I'll be back when my iPhone has booted up. Remember guys, if there was anything you didn't understand in this video, then leave a comment down below and I will try and respond to you. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, remember to leave a like, leave a comment and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.